Hey guys, in this video you're going to see the use of these blades as hedge and tree trimmers. Um, look below the video, I'll put links to that and to one of these if you want one, including a Drill Pro if you want to, you know, affordable. So let me get that blade back on. We just came back in, we ran the battery out, and I am putting another battery on it. It's almost charged. All right. So it's pretty simple. You want to make sure that your label is facing down, facing down, just like that. All right. First time I put it on here, I'm like, I ah, don't look right. Well, it wasn't. Make sure your label is facing outward, just like that. And then you want to put your keeper on your, or your grinder there, your grinder nut or whatever you want to call it, and lock it into place. So I moved my way over here so I can lock it into place here. There we go. Grab a good grip. A good tight lock. Now, let's take this thing outside, and I'm going to show you another tree. It's about a five-inch size tree. And y'all subscribe. Got some videos coming up on this. That cool blue eddy. And we're just waiting on here to get finished out of the garden. We're going to go cut some other trees. So let's go. Hey guys, you see these wonderful things right here that Kira has? Look at this. Look at that. Look at that. Now, these are whatever the hell the name. Oi, Brez, whatever. Professional saw blade, whatever. Okay, look. Look below the video. I'm going to put a link to these things. You're going to love them. They're very, they're very interesting. I've never seen anything like it. Well, they, they make these for the saws and for doing like chainsaw stuff. So you see a lot of these with the chainsaw blades on them and they're dangerous as hell. Yeah. These are only about $13 for this set of three because there's three and they come with the little adapters so you can fit different things. And I've got it right now on a 20 volt DeWalt. So let her film and I'm going to show you. Now you want to make sure that you keep your your hand grip on your I mean if you're super confident and never ever put this near your body all right so we're gonna go over here um, I just took this tree down here come over here and show them here I just took this tree down there's my hand on it it's bigger way bigger than the blade allows but I just took this tree down which is about a five inch in diameter tree all right now, let's clear ourselves a little bit of space. To get in here and work on this tree. That's with a battery that's whew, two and a half bars. Almost flickered a third. So come over here and check this thing out. I'm just doing this one-handed. I don't recommend this unless you've got a lot of experience with grinders. As you can see, a this is about a two and a half inch thick limb. It cuts about 85% of the way through that. See that? So capacity, I would say, look over here. Capacity, look how clean of a cut. <laughs> so three of these blades for under $15, man. What the hell, right? That's, that's why I linked it under the video for you guys, because guess what? You can do it. And any grinder that's four and a half inch, electric or battery powered, it'll work on it. So, that limb's under pressure. That limb's under pressure. See it? It's got pressure of the tree on it. Look over here. Look how freaking fast, and I am not feeding this fish up. That limb's also under pressure. Hard to cut the limbs when they're under pressure because they'll pinch. But as you can tell, I'm easily controlling this, and the brushless models like these, they do make it easier because they'll just stop. So let's get over here. That one right there looks like about a two and a quarter. Let's see if it'll cut straight through a two and a quarter. Pretty damn good. 
why would you buy one of them little cheap chainsaws? And trust me, I got a, I got one. It's a CC. Takes oil, takes all kinds of crap, right? That thing there. What do you think, guys? This is a pecan tree that uh, had a bug infestation because of that building. And bug, bug infestation ate the building, too. So we knocked it down. But let's come over here. Will it cut wood, too? I mean, if you're just going to cut regular planks of wood, will it cut wood, too, to do demo work? Hold in my hand there. Keep your hand, and keep your hand at least six inches away. Nice, clean cuts. All right, guys. That's the best tip I can give you real quick. Pretty simple video on it. And that's a 40 tooth. My seven times as many teeth as most people in northern Arkansas have, so that's pretty damn good, <laughs> right? That's funny. Yep, and if Kira ever uses, of course she has to use the control handle, handle yeah. for it. Me, I got big, strong hands. I can handle that, so it's no big deal. But even if you're just going to come out here, watch this over here, and you're trying to get rid of some weeds. Still does a hell of a job. It's incredible. Hedge trimming, you name it, man. Save the money. You already probably own one of these, and if you don't, I'll put a link below the video to one of these. And the best spare battery for them, too, because these are high dollar. But the spare battery I use on these, about a third the price. All right, guys, y'all be good.